Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about running MP10s on a Red Sea Reefer 250. Hello and welcome back everyone to Amro Azul TV. Uh, I get this question a lot about whether you could run uh, MP10s Ecotech MP10s on a Red Sea Reefer 250. Uh, so uh, I just did a review of all of my equipment and I rated uh, the MP10s as, uh, as an A+, because I haven't had any problems with them. Uh, I'll, I'll clarify that by what I mean is I haven't had any problems, like mechanical problems with them. So they've always worked. Now, uh, you know that, uh, so the obviously the uh, the Ecotech MP10s come, uh, do you have a wet side here and a dry side and uh, the wet side is kind of hooked up to the dry side using a magnet. So that magnet is rated for uh, six, uh, sorry, three eighth glass, so 0.375 of an inch. Uh, and that's kind of the maximum recommended uh, thickness that the MP10s uh, magnets are supposed to span. Now that side glass of the Red Sea Reefer is actually about 0.4 of an inch so it's it's a bit larger uh, let's see if I could show you this here uh, so it starts there yeah it's it's about 0.4 so they come up to here so uh, you're trying to run the mp10s on glass that's a little bit too thick than it's supposed to handle uh, so this is obviously in some situations could result in the pump fall the wet side falling over I don't consider that to be a problem of the pump itself and it didn't affect my rating of the mp10s because I mean I'm not supposed to be running the mp10s on the red sea reefer but does it work and can it run and in my tank I've I've uh, I've figured out the situations the conditions that make essentially the pumps fall off and I'm going to tell you about them now and you could essentially program your uh, your pumps in a way to kind of never fall it's really easy to think about the solution to uh, the falling pump problem. So uh, the, the wet side is attached to the dry side by a magnet and the glass is too thick. So obviously this, the, 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 the adherence of the wet side to the glass is going to be a little bit weak on the Red Sea Reefer 250. Under most circumstances, this is not a problem. The only time that I noticed where my pump fell down is when one pump was almost idle and then the other pump was shooting water uh, at high velocity towards the idle pump. And th that's the situations that essentially lead to this pump getting dislodged and filling down and, and vice versa. So the solution to this is essentially to try to program the pumps in a way such that uh, you, you're, you're, you're not getting one pump shooting at extreme velocities while the other pump is, is nearly idle. So uh, under most circumstances, I don't have issues with pump uh, with the pump falling. I've noticed over time when whenever my pumps would uh, would uh, fall, and I had like set up web cameras to try to kind of uh, figure out when when this happened, and I noticed that uh, that these pumps, uh, one of them tends to fall off uh, for some reason. It was mostly this one. Uh, when I'm running uh, nutrient uh, transport mode uh, at very high, like at a maximum uh, of 100%. And so essentially when, when you set up the pumps to do like that, uh, to run like that, then one pump is almost turned off and the other pump is shooting at 100%. And, and that sometimes, not always, leads to this pump falling off. So the solution to my to this problem it was to essentially stop running the pumps uh, at nutrient cycle mode at 100%. So I'm still running nutrient cycle mode at about 80%, and at 80%, I've never had any of these pumps uh, fall off. Uh, that's a little bit of algae buildup. Uh, by the way, this this is what my tank looks like when I don't clean the glass for about a week. Uh, so it actually doesn't doesn't look that bad. Uh, and you see a little bit of gunk on the sides here. Uh, but that that is with nitrates at uh, at 10 and phosphates at 0.16 so clean almost clean glass anyway i'm going on a tangent so uh let let, let me get back to the pumps so my i think that you can run these pumps on on the red sea reefer 250 i've been running these pumps 
uh, for three years now. Uh, they used to fall occasionally until I figured out what the what the issue is, and you know it seems pretty simple now that you know that when when that you know they're not as sticky because the magnet is weak. So don't don't put them in situations where you have one pump that's almost off and the other pump shooting a lot of water. This this also kind of counts if you have other sources of flow, right? So if here I have a guyer. And if this pump is is uh, is nearly idle, and this pump and the opposite MP10s are pumping a lot of water, that's going to generate a lot of forces that might dislodge this. So, solutions is to try to when you're running the MP10s is to try to always have them run uh, uh, not too low. So don't don't have any one pump running at like five percent or or anything like that. And then when, make sure that when one pump is low, that the other pumps are not shooting high velocity uh, water at it, uh, and and that should solve your problems. Uh, again, once I stopped running nutrient cycle mode at uh, 100%, and and maxing out the nutrient cycle mode to, to 80 percent i haven't had any problems with the mp10s falling off the glass another thing that you want to make sure if you're going to run mp10s on the red sea reefer is you attach them with uh, the supplied like uh, this is a vulcan uh, bracket and you have uh, a zip tie here because what happens if if this is not attached and this happened to me before uh, i'll actually show you the dent All right so uh the wet side came off and early on I didn't have this bracket so the wet the dry side actually swung and banged against the wall and you actually see you could count how many times it fell over there one two three four five six times uh, where where the pump uh, had the attached and the dry side whacked the wall here so the, uh, uh, <laughs> you would think that I would uh, implement implement the tie solution quickly after it fell the first time but it took me six times to uh, to put this on um, and after obviously after you put this bracket on then it's not a problem when the wet side falls down it's just going to go down to the sand but the dry side is going to be protected uh, but uh, seriously after i changed the nutrient cycle mode i've had zero issues with the pumps fall, uh, falling off so uh, just in summary, you, you can run these, you just have to be a little bit more cognizant about what the conditions that trigger the wet sites from falling on the Red Sea Reefer uh, and, and try to avoid them. Is this ideal? Obviously it's not great, right? Uh, you, you'd you be better if... The reason that I ran the MP10s on the Red Sea Reefer was not because... Uh, it was essentially I had an MP10 on my Nano and I just, well, is it gonna work on the Red Sea Reefer? And it, and it worked, so I got another one, and, and I just, it, it was it was cheaper for me to buy a second MP10 and use the current MP10 that I have than to essentially sell the old MP10 and buy two MP40s, which, which would be considerably more expensive. Uh, so, uh, is it, is it ideal not ideal that i have to kind of watch my parameters but is it workable it's totally workable and and i do love the mp10s i mean considering look guys considering the fact that this thing came off and got banged against the wall six times and considering the fact that i'm running it above specs like i'm uh, it's essentially the motor is working a little bit harder because it uh, because of this extra glass uh, Considering all of this and the fact that I had zero prob mechanical problems, zero mechanical problems with both MP10s over uh, three years for one pump and four years for another pump, I, I, I think that's I think that's awesome. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you around. Have a good one.